At age 23, I opened my first salon in Cabanatuan City, Nueva Ecija. With an initial capital of 30,000 pesos, I bought an existing salon that was about to close down. This became the first branch of Orange Blush Salon in October 2003. Today, we have 21 salons all over Luzon. But as the business continues to grow, there's still a lot to learn as an entrepreneur. That's why we thought of coming up with this TV program. The goal of the show is to actually inspire and motivate aspiring entrepreneurs in establishing their own businesses. I am Joby Linsangan Morena and this is Beauty in the Biz. Proper diet and exercise go hand in hand in achieving a healthy lifestyle. And since health is wealth, businesses in this industry never go out of style. Today, let's get to know some inspiring entrepreneurs in fitness and in health. Being fit is a lot of hard work. But thanks to these fitness coaches, getting into the healthy lifestyle does not need to feel like a chore. Now we'll meet a couple who've made fitness their business. They say that couples who sweat together, stay together. For Jim and Tony Saret, who are both celebrated fitness coaches, they not only work out together to exercise, they also help and inspire others get a head start to a fitter lifestyle. I'm sure everyone would like to find out when did you start this business and were you also, what were your prior careers before going as fitness coaches? We've been in this for like, forever <laughs> for such a long time we mm -hmm. didn't even plan to be in this thing it just kind of happened we've actually been athletes all our lives and yes. uh, it's a natural progression of things mm -hmm. you were with a national team he got a scholarship abroad his master's scholarship wow. from tennis mm -hmm. come on tell them yes you have to tell everyone <laughs> <laughs> we, we were talking about it. everyone should She's a little know, bit too yes. shy mm -hmm. so i have a i have a, i had a tennis scholarship at mm -hmm. Brigham University, where I took sports medicine. So I did mm -hmm. my master's in sports medicine. Ah, I agree. And then when I came back to the Philippines, I found that I was the only one with the degree that I took. As for me, I started with ballet ever since I was a kid, as mm -hmm. always a dancer. When I yeah. met her, I was a nerd. <laughs> I Athletic did, nerd. I didn't think yes. she was going to like listening to lectures, but she's being into fitness. Mm -hmm. I was surprised that she was actually responding. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> yes. Right? So, like I said, getting to the fitness industry where we are now was purely accidental, but that's the nice thing because it was very organic. Like like I say, it's always a natural progression, so you just want to help future athletes and you want to see because you know where they're coming from. The celebrity fitness couple rose to fame when they coached the contestants of ABS-CBN's reality show, The Biggest Loser Doubles Edition. How did it go? How did they find you and how were you able to help the um, contestants in the show? It's an interesting story again. Yes. So we were training PBA teams, I was teaching, and at the same time the Philippine Olympic Committee invited us to help the national teams. Mm -hmm. So we're training the super elite athletes. Mm -hmm. And then we get a call one time from AB, from uh, one of the producers of The Biggest Loser. Do I accept this and enter a new world? Yes. Definitely. Or stay where I am? Mm -hmm. So instead of hitting the elite elite, let's try to elite, let's try to hit majority of the people. Mm -hmm. yes. So that, and it was a, it's a decision I, I never regretted. Being on national television, like I always say, there's so much pressure. You have to make sure that it was a, it was a show that was very, very wholesome for, for everyone. But at the same time, it always is a learning process every day. Every week somebody goes home. Mm, so what yes. we did with them, because for us it's real, we want to help people, yes. even if you got eliminated. Yes, yes. When they get eliminated, they're out of the camp. We would send them to her. Just oh, really? on a voluntary basis, she would help those that got eliminated out of pure passion. No, she wasn't paid or anything like that. Yes. 
because they would be crying, I'm out, I'm out, I want to change my life. life. So she took lives. over and helped everybody else lose the weight outside the camp, outside the TV. And I think nobody knew about it. Oh, they didn't no, have to. Knew. Again, oh, nobody, there are no cameras rolling. You don't need that. You don't mm -hmm. need that, that acclaim. And mm -hmm. they were real lives. They totally auditioned. They got the part. But after a week, they were booted out. And how do you help them? Mm -hmm. So I go, okay, let's put up a biggest loser camp outside. It doesn't matter, TV or not. But of course, they lost all the weight as much as the, the campers inside. One of their projects is the Fit Filipino Movement, a nationwide campaign backed by medical associations, fitness clubs, and even LGUs. It challenges Filipinos to lose and donate a total of 1 million pounds, all for the goal of a healthier nation. So now let's talk about business. Okay. Let's say someone wants to avail of your services, where can you be found? And what are the services that you can give them? So our business model right now is basically we have a fitness camp at Mall of Asia, at Alamba, oh, right. at, um, at BGC, South. at mm -hmm. Kansas City Circle, we even have in Cebu. So, uh, and yeah, Davao. So, Davao. So we're everywhere. Mm -hmm. We don't have a gym. Mm -hmm. We don't really have an office. Mm -hmm. Our office is the whole country. The way we do it is very different. When you come to us, of course, the basic question is, what do you want help with? Yes. And majority that come to us, they want to change their lives. They don't come to us to have better biceps, to have a six pack. They can go to the gym for those things. Mm -hmm. For those that just want to jumpstart their fitness journey, mm -hmm. that's yes. different. Because it's the total thing. It's from the psychological to the mm -hmm. physical. It's a holistic to the package. nutritional. Yes, exactly. And that's basically our forte. Exercise is for everyone, Coach Jim and Coach Tony taught me some workout to try. It's a simple four-step routine anyone can do, anytime and anywhere. All you need is some space and your own body weight. So we have heard about your four-minute workout, so we'd like to know more about it. Can you tell us more? Okay, so the four-minute workout is basically four movements mm -hmm. that uh, produces a metabolic burst in your body All that right. will end up that will end up with you burning a lot of calories. You are going to be the lean, lean machine out of the four-minute workout. Right. So are you ready? To learn? Yes, let's do it. I'm so excited. <laughs> First movement, jumping jacks. If you can't do it because you have knee problems, we have a modified jumping jack version. Let me move your scooter, right? Or left. Second exercise, we're mm -hmm. going to do bodyweight squats. Okay. I need you to pretend as if you're going to sit down on a chair. Okay. So get your butt backwards uh -huh. and go down. That's it. There's a pinch here that you're grazing your butt. Third exercise, we're going to fire the upper body. The last right. exercise, uh -huh. we're gonna go back to your legs again. So I need you to face Coach Tony. All right. Then take one giant step forward. One big step forward. Good. Now in that position, I need the back leg, this one, to go back. down. Be true to what you want to do. If you're mm -hmm. trying to just make exactly. money out of, in the fitness industry, that's not going to last long. Mm -hmm. People feel if you're genuine mm -hmm. about trying to help mm -hmm. them. You really have to know your clientele. You really have to know the person you're working with. Never try to be an island because a lot of people nowadays say, I'm me, I'm the best, mm -hmm. come to me, I come to me. Yes. That also doesn't last long. This guy is more of a specialist in that. We'll refer them to you. Yes. And it works. It comes back to you. You can't always say that I know it all. Yes, that's very because true. That would totally be the, the beginning of your destruction. So you have to work with people, learn how to work with people. So you got to create your own thing. Yes, that's how you stand out here. Yes. So if you don't have that, then they'll try you once or they'll go to another person because you're both offering the same thing. Mm -hmm. Create something original and unique. Hungry for some business tips? Don't go away and let our experts feed your mind. Beauty in the Biz will be right back. regular exercise, having a healthy diet will go a long way in helping you achieve your fitness goals. Our next featured entrepreneur has made it his mission to help people eat better. 
Let's meet the man behind Healthy Meals PH. Rev developed his entrepreneurial skills early as a student when he managed the family Sari Sari store back in Candaba, Pampanga. While studying physical therapy in college, he worked as a fitness specialist and sold candle holders on the side. After graduating and passing the board as a physical therapist, he sought a field that would be more financially rewarding. Hello, sir. Thank you so much for having us. Welcome to Healthy Mills PH. Let me show you around. All right. I'm no? so excited no, to so be here. So, this is the first part of our store. All right. So, we this is what we call? Uh, the reading area. Reading area. Or if you are a lover, you can sit down mm -hmm. here. So, the concept is we really don't have any particular concept. Mm -hmm. This is a concept store. Ibig sabihin, kung ano yung personality mo, pwede siya lumabas dito. Uh, the character of the owner comes out. Yes. So, may specific part lang yes, so na okay. kailangan mong sundin, which is yun yung part na common sa lahat ng store mm -hmm. na i-open namin. Yes. And I'll show you with that. So, ito yung part mm -hmm. na sinasabi ko sa'yo na dapat common siya among all to all the stores that we yes. have. No? Mm -hmm. First, of course, when you enter the store, you'll see the logo. Yes, there's no? a logo. Of right. course, the green signifies health, no? mm -hmm. uh, wellness. And our logo uh, comprises of four uh, items. The, mm -hmm. the first one is the half plate on mm -hmm. the side, mm -hmm. and the other one is half leap. Mm -hmm. So, it's a healthy plate. Siya. Mm -hmm. And then, they combine the HMN naging pork. Siya. So, mm -hmm. that's Healthy Meals PH. So I understand that these are all the food that you serve at the Healthy Meals PH and they all look delicious and scrumptious. Thank but you. I understand they're also healthy yeah. in a sense. So tell us more about the story behind your brand. What inspired you to put up this Healthy Meals PH? So what was your mission for putting up this brand? Well, the mission of Healthy Meals PH is to provide complete and balanced meal among mm -hmm. Filipinos mm -hmm. that is comparative in terms of price, so it's become sustainable. Mm -hmm. So we are not a diet delivery company, but we are a complete and balanced meal delivery right. uh, for all walks of life. Mm -hmm. Our clients are really in wide range. No? We have children, mm -hmm. we have teenagers, mm -hmm. we have people in the corporate world that don't have time yes, to prepare the food. Yes. It's a stress-free transition to healthy lifestyle. Yes, That's healthy meal speed. You're being conscious of the caloric um, intake that yeah. you have. We do, we do the scientific computations for that. There's a difference between weight loss and weight management. Mm -hmm. Weight mm -hmm. management is more of eating the right amount of food Mm -hmm. and component of food. Mm -hmm. you know, that's why there's no starvations dapat. Oh. The typical advice of doctors is uh, change the lifestyle. Bawasa mo yung, yung carbs, mm -hmm. yung sugar, yeah. sauce, yung sauce mo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So kami, we still have the sauce. Example, here in the store, mm -hmm. we serve uh, baked kare-kare. Oh, we still okay. have the kare-kare. We have the sauce, but yes. it's this portions. And then the bagong is transitions to a vegan bagoong. Ah, right. So healthy pa rin yung kinakain mo, mm. pero yung taste nandoon. Tell us more about your background because I know that you are not a chef. And I also understand you work for a pharmaceutical company. So now you are an owner of the Healthy Meals PH. Okay. So what's your story? I started in Manila after graduation as a PT. I used to write or do prescriptions, exercise for athletes under one university. Mm -hmm. I am licensed PT, turns into sales and marketing. Mm -hmm. I used to work with the pharmaceutical industry for yes. 10 years. Of course, Ten my years. work is actually to bring clients to the restaurants and hotels. Yes. Although during the 10 years, I don't eat carbs. Na. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pero pa rin ako. Mm -hmm. And after that, venture into business. Yes. And then I was introduced with one global company who help people to transition to a healthy lifestyle. Oh. Healthy Meals PH is a food delivery service all throughout Metro Manila for people on the go. They also offer catering and a la carte services. So I also heard that you just recently went into catering. So aside from catering, you also have expansion plans. Yeah. So walk uh, us through. So what, what are your plans for the business? Catering was introduced this, this last December mm -hmm. because uh, I have a friend who mm -hmm. died with heart attack at 36 mm -hmm. year old. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I I, I think it's about time that we have to take care of our, our health even during parties. Mm -hmm. Even our desserts are also healthy. We produce already the cupcakes, uh, less sugar or moscovado. 
No, we sorry. have some cookies already. We have banana loaves. Mm -hmm. Everything we innovate in such a way that it is uh, tasty. Mm -hmm. No, and it's comparative in terms of price. Yes. In terms of expansions, mm -hmm. uh, we're building another stores in the mm -hmm. next three months. Oh, from south to north. Right. Yeah, are this no. franchised or are they this, company owned? Uh, these are franchise. Mm -hmm. no. And the concept of the store is a concept store. Mm -hmm. uh, half of the store could be decorated by the owner mm -hmm. and half of the store, uh, we, ha we only have the logo oh, plus right. the yes. board. Ah, okay. So you have, uh, you have the capacity to put your personality mm -hmm. wherever stores mm -hmm. na create nila. Mm -hmm. So as an entrepreneur, being in the food business, what can you say could be one of your biggest challenges? Before it's a challenge, no, uh, mm -hmm. you know, to adapt with the different taste buds of different people. Yes. We have different, you know, or subjective opinions about mm -hmm. food. That's true. That's but very true. It becomes a big help for us mm -hmm. to listen to them, for us to improve more of our product. Mm -hmm. You know, when you give good comments on our product, we send mm -hmm. you food or gifts. Ah, Even you give you know, suggestions or comments, we still send you gifts. Mm -hmm. That's how grateful we are. Mm -hmm. Because be I believe that the feedback is very important. Yeah. The feedback Rad gets from customers fuel him to continue in the business. Not only do they keep their clients happy with their delicious food, they also bring change in their lives by keeping them fit and helping them reach their goals. So what advice could you give our aspiring entrepreneurs who are in the same field as you in the food business? For me, you have to know the market. Mm -hmm. Hindi porket gusto mo, yes, pwede mong gawin. Mm -hmm. Kung ano yung kailangan ng market, yun dapat ang ibibigay mo. No? That's one. The second is, you have to know your product by heart. Mm -hmm. no, product knowledge is very important. Third, you have to be open with criticism and feedback. That's mm -hmm. the only thing that could improve the product, the business as well. Mm -hmm. So, yun, put your heart on it and of course, always remember that you're doing business not just to earn money. You're doing business is to help other people as well. Hungry for some business tips? Don't go away! Let our experts feed your mind. Beauty in the Biz will be right back.